when looking back, I can understand why some people may think we were insane. 11 years of setting up, tearing down every Sunday because our congregation was too small to obtain a permanent facility. That's over 550 weekends in a row. Others may say insane, but we were just obeying what God was calling us to do. 10 years in, we experienced what I can only describe as a miracle. Our congregation of only 20 faithful individuals broke ground on a new facility in the fastest growing area of town, completely debt free. Why did we go with the name Family Life Church? Simply because we understand the importance of family. We believe that everyone should have a church family that they can belong to. My heart is still with joy seeing the lives that have been changed since then. I think about a suicidal young woman who found joy and purpose. The atheist who hated religion, but now can't wait until every Sunday, and he tells everyone about Jesus. The grieving widow who showed up because she had no one, and now she has a new family. My favorite part is that we're just getting started. We've been stunned at how Family Life Church has grown and grown. Three years ago, we were running a single service, and within two years, we had grown to three services. In order to accomplish our mission of expanding the kingdom of God, to connect people far from God to his promises of life, we need to expand our facilities to reach more people. But our vision is not to just get more people in the doors, but to build a family. Because of this, the new building has been intentionally designed. There's three main objectives that we set out to achieve. First is we want to have a design that naturally builds community. For example, the lobby and front porch areas are gonna be three times as large as our current spaces, but also organized in a way where there will be multiple hangout areas out of the way of traffic flow. After each service, when we invite people to not be in a rush, but to stick around and meet someone new, there will be plenty of space to do this. Number two, we are designing the facility to screen families. As families walk up from the parking lot, a large playground, three times the size of our existing playground, will greet families. A large Noah's Ark will highlight this space, inspiring awe and creativity. In addition, our existing building will be renovated to give our kids ministry four times as much space as they currently have so they can continue to disciple the next generation. And third, we want to be a place where people far from God can come in and feel comfortable. The lobby will have a similar feel to a coffee cafe, a place where someone can come and relax, a place for everyday people. We know that God has big things in store, and our plan is to start construction in early 2025. Now this is gonna require a group effort, but we invite you to come be a part of what God is doing. You can learn more about this project by going to the link in the description or going to ocalaflc.com. I can't wait to see what God has in store next.